What is the college football playoff committee telling Clemson by putting Clemson at five in the first iteration of this college football playoff? I think they're telling them that they know the ACC stinks and that the rest of the ACC is just not very good. I think they're also telling them, hey, we saw you almost lose to a really mediocre North Carolina team. And I think that is is hurt them, but it's, you know, in the end, unless they stumble and they have Clemson has no margin for error. Some of these SEC teams, a few might have a little margin for error. And our, one of them is getting way more benefit of the doubt. Okay. So no margin for error, meaning they can't slip up Clemson in any way, shape or form uh, by dropping one game in 2019 because their conference stinks or because their schedule wasn't uh, nearly in their mind and in, in the minds of the college football playoff committee up to snuff to benefit from just one late season slip up in division or in conference. I would say it's more a reflection of their conference stinks because I'm not going to fault Clemson too much. They scheduled two SEC teams. They're, they're one of their big rivals is South Carolina. Not their fault. South Carolina hasn't been very good. By the way, that South Carolina team did go to Georgia and right. beat the right. Bulldogs. Right. Uh, and they played Texas A&M, who is getting better. And I mean, that's not bad to schedule two SEC teams in the non-conference. The problem is everybody else is, is just not good in the ACC right now. The only team I think that is playing very well is Wake Forest. And Wake Forest, if they lose to Clemson, they're going to probably be hanging around maybe a top 25 team, maybe not. So that's just not giving them much much, of, much juice in the committee's eyes. And when they play a conference title game, they're probably not going to be dealing with a top 25 team, so they're not going to get much of a boost off that either. And that's why if they stumble somewhere, I don't think they're going to make a playoff. Now, I don't think they're going to stumble but that's kind of the reality right yeah, now. I guess so, Bruce, but why could, you know, why should Clemson have to suffer because the conference stinks when we're looking at potentially a winner of a Pac-12 championship game between Utah and, and Oregon having a better standing coming out of the Pac-12 than a one-loss Clemson? Should Clemson slip up over the next month? I just think because the Pac-12 is a little – better across the board than what you have. The ACC is really bad right now. I mean, we're seeing it when there's there's basically three you know programs that I would say fit into the mind mode of being powerhouse programs. Two of them are way down right now. Florida State just fired Willie Taggart after less than two seasons, and Manny Diaz in year one in Miami is very shaky. I mean, when you look when your second best pro- program right now is Wake Forest, and that's, look, credit to Dave Clawson and that staff, but they are not, you know, it's it's just not, they are not seen as an elite program. And so when it's Clemson and, and everybody else is kind of just spinning their wheels or, or feels like a 500 team, that's not going to convince the committee of much. And again, it's not like they, they completely dominated these teams they played. They really struggled against a very average North Carolina team. They almost lost that game, and that hurts. I mean, you it's Ohio State has just pulverized everybody they've played, and they've played at least a little better competition than what Clemson has played. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.